Hey Scorpio, thank you so much for coming to your bonus reading. Yay! Go ahead, chop, clap, cheer, do what you need to do. I know, I'm so excited to do uh, your guys' reading. I just wanted to say thank you guys for all of your support. It means the world to me and I feel like I've made a lot of really close connections and I just think you guys are fantastic. So I love you. Thank you. Um, let's just kind of hop into it. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome. It can be your situation uh, reversed sometimes that comes up. Just so you guys know beforehand, I've shuffled the cards up completely. I've pulled a couple of cards prior just to kind of get the overall energy. So it's very interesting what's going to uh, come up. So let's just go ahead and get into your spread and then we can really dive deep. Okay, look, as I'm saying it, look at look at what just came out. There's something coming back, okay? There is going to be some type of reconciliation here or something that you're manifesting. Look, and as I cut the deck too, we have the Hierophant. There may be even a confession as well as the Ten of Cups returning to that. And I feel like this is going to be a new start. Um, but let's just get into the spread. Okay. How does, uh, what is the overall energy for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus from now until the end of May with love and romance? Overall energy spirit. Okay. Six of Swords. All right. And what is um, Scorpio's person of interest romantically? What, what is their overall energy? Ooh, Scorpio. Look, some of you are uh, maybe dealing with a Pisces, um, another Scorpio, or also a Cancer. Some of you may also be dealing with a Gemini or even an Aquarius or somebody that has a Mercury in Aquarius. How does Scorpio feel about this person romantically? How does Scorpio feel about this person romantically? Judgment, okay. You're like, I'm ready for a reconciliation. Bring that ass over here. I'm here for it. Okay, time out. If you're somebody that doesn't like cussing and wants smoke, mirrors, incense flying, crystals flying, that's not me. I'm very raw, real. So I'm just giving you a forewarning. If if, if my cussing bothers you, you can go ahead and e exit stage, uh, stage left. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Just a precaution because there are some comments. It's like, don't use the F word, you know, and then what I'm going to do is then I'm going to respond to you using the F word. So I just wanted to give you guys a forewarning. You guys are usually dope. So just throwing it out there. All right. What's the overall situation between Scorpio and this person of interest romantically? What, what, what What's the overall situation currently? Okay. Strength with the six of cups. So we do have Leo here as well as um, Scorpio. Okay, so I'm going to lay those bad boys like that. You know, it's weird. I'm going to be honest. There is some type of reunion coming. Okay, Cancer is here um, as well as Aries. Let me ask what the best potential outcome is for these two romantically. What's the best potential outcome for Scorpio? and their person of interest romantically from now until the end of May. Now until the end of May. Best potential outcome. Best potential outcome for Scorpio and their person of interest romantically from now until the end of May. Okay. Forgiving and learning. Fantastic. Okay. So... Before I get into this spread, I want to give you guys a little bit of insight here. When I was pulling the overall archetype for your relationship, it was the hunter and the vision. So before we even start, let, let me go into this really quick. There is something here where you're very focused on what you want, and I feel like you've gone after it pretty tough. Like I think that you've gone after what you wanted. I feel like you've really studied and um, tracked this person's moves, uh, not necessarily whereabouts, maybe some of you have, but th there's something here where you guys are, this relationship is one where you know what you want. You know that this person 
is something clearly that means a lot to you. And I'm saying this because we have vision here. I think as much as you try to shake the vision or change the vision, this person just, this person is what it is. And I do think you've hunted, hunted this person. You want this person. You are very resentless right now. As much as we say, and I'm going to say this, okay, and some, some people may not like it, but um, it is what it is, right? As much as we say, like, fuck it, we're over it, or we're not going to deal with it, it is what it is, we say that um, vocally, so we start believing it, but subconsciously or internally, we're not over this situation, obviously, because there is still something here where somebody is making an effort and getting what they want. Now with the hunter here, the hunter always gets what it wants, okay? The other thing I want you guys to pay attention to is the is numerology. We have nine and we also have nine here. So there is a completion and that's why I feel like there is something coming about here with this person. And I feel like this month, end of this month, there is going to be a huge, and I mean huge, uh, ending and a new beginning. How your partner feels about your current relationship is that it's going to be in a new phase of uh, rekindling. There is a transformation, they feel like, and they've changed their mind on you and how they want to approach you. So for those of you that are not talking to your specific person, there's going to be a level of communication and also rekindling, rethought, that type of thing. Now, how you feel about the relationship, Scorpio, which I love, is sunglasses, okay? And with sunglasses, that's watching, it's looking, it's stalking, okay? That's why I said you guys are the hunter, but it's also perception. You're very focused on what you want. You may, you're not going to be the one to do the talking here. It's going to be your partner, okay? So that's the energy, the overall archetype of your relationship, as well as their perception and your perception. So I think it's pretty dope. Now, getting into these cards, I do want to say this. As much as I've shuffled, we have mirror and twin flame, top and bottom. I want to say this too. I know I personally don't like the whole twin flame thing, but there is something very special between you and your partner. And I think that that's something neither you or them can deny it's something that words can't explain, right? Like almost if you're trying to tell somebody, hey, this person, like people are going to think you're crazy, right? This is what's going on, this, this, this. But it's because there's something very soul-like about this connection. Now, some of you are going to be like, well, fuck the soul connection. I feel it, right? But at the end of the day, if we're that, uh, if we're that upset over something, right? That means it's still lingering within us. Now, I know from the past readings, this person has been kind of a turd, like, let's be honest. However, there is something here that is changing. And I feel like, Scorpio, how you feel right now is the very same way that your partner feels. And I do think that that is a positive. Sorry, I have to take a sip of tea. So I do think that that's very good for both you and them. Okay. What's, what's the overall energy for love and romance for Scorpio now till the end of May? Okay. A palm tree. I'm telling you, there is a weird ending coming, but there is something um, changing. If somebody, if your partner was dating multiple people or had multiple people, like keys on a ring, as they say, many options or decisions are very unconventional. I feel like that's changing. There's something here that's changing where they're realizing that there is a level of stability when it comes to you. Okay. Six of swords. That for me is forward movement, forward communication. Okay. It's also, um, having the tough conversations, right? Six of swords. That's definitely, um, Aquarius. And, I feel like there's something here that's said, which makes you really understand and accept what you've been searching for, whether it's the truth or whether it's receiving something. There's something here that is coming towards you, which is going to give you that energy that you need to proceed. Okay. What's being said here with the six of swords for the overall energy? 
What's being said here? The devil, some of you may be dealing with the Capricorn. What about, what's the energy of the devil? The king of cups, ew, there you are, Scorpio, yeah. Listen, okay, listen, Linda. All right, we have the two of wands, we have the hierophant, okay? There is something here that is expressed, in my personal opinion, based on the cards that I see. It's there is a conversation here, uh, and I feel like it's something that said Scorpio, like, they're very connected to you. They can't leave. I also feel like the two of wands, there's something here watching and waiting. There, there may be two people as well. I am going to throw that out there, but here's what's interesting to me. This six of swords with the hierophant, we also have Taurus and also Mars and Aries. With this type of energy, I'm going to be honest, right? Right now when I'm recording, it is a full moon, or not full moon, it's moon and Aries, okay? So there's a level of action being taken. But here's the thing. With the Hierophant here, I always view the Hierophant as a confession or a level of, um, like, expression. It, saying something that's hard, saying something that is going to hurt, saying something that you did that was fucked up. And now it's like, once that's said, it's like it's a brand new start. You're a brand new person, right? And I feel very strongly that something is going to be said to you. There is going to be some type of communication um, from now until the end of the month on something that you've been waiting to receive, okay? It's something that you feel is coming in, but now I feel like it is. So, or I can say this. Well, nope, I feel like communication is coming in for you guys. All right, we now have the Knight of Cups as your person of interest. Let me ask their overall energy. Okay, what's Scorpio's person's overall energy here? That just slid out. Kisses and I like you, okay? Unconditional love, giving and receiving, falling in love again. It's romance is going to start blooming. I'm telling you, I, I do think, um, I do think that that's going to be a very good time for you guys, but this person is now understanding. I feel like what you mean to them. They're having a realization, right? There's something here where this person's like, Oh shit. You know, I genuinely love this person. Why was I doing that? Why was I the one that was, you know, um, not speaking or five of swords in it. You know what I mean? There's something definitely here about that. Any more information on this Knight of Cups? Okay, Queen of Cups. Some of you, uh, if you're a Scorpio and your person is a water sign, this is definitely your person. This is definitely your partner. I feel like there's a tower moment for them, which causes a level of communication. That tower causes a level of hurt here with the Eight of Swords. We have Mercury in um, Sag. So it's interesting because there is this tower moment, right? And, and, and that's something we can't deny, okay? It's that tower moment for your person. It's going to rock them, but it's also going to put them in a place where now they're feeling a level of hurt. I feel like when it's pertaining to you. I also feel like too, with this 10 of swords here, this person is watching and waiting and they're curious. Like they don't know what's going on with you. But here's what I think, okay? Besides the fact that we have Mercury in Gemini, okay? Which is interesting because Venus is in Gemini right now, but it's retrograde, okay? Um, besides them being hurt, this is also a one, which is a new start, okay? And number one is a leader, right? That's the ability to stand alone. That's a very strong vibration. That's somebody that has, a, they have to brace a level of self-expression, which we do see here with this eight of wands, which I think is fantastic. The one thing I really like about the 10 of swords followed by this eight of wands is that's Mercury and Sag. That's communication, which is very optimistic and really looking forward to what's to come. It's also understanding that they're ready for a level of expansion. And this is a very quick moving energy, very, very fast. This person is very resentless, I feel like. They wanna know what's going on with you. 
Um, and they're very, um, how do I say this? They're very stimulated right now because for them, it's like there, there's a level of impatience here, Scorpio. What's being communicated by this person? Probably what's upset them, what's been going on, why they didn't accept your offer to begin with, or why they've been kind of in this weird funk, right? Four of Cups, that's a moon in um, Cancer. And the funny thing about Moon and Cancer is, I'm going to say this, they, they're they never detached. Moon and Cancer is somebody that clings to things. There's, there's a level of security that they seek and a level of familiarity, and this person doesn't like change. However, they can whip a dead horse. So if something went wonky between you guys, this person is definitely going to be expressing, um, expressing why that hurt them. Because for them... It's, it's, there's a level of insecurity here with this person. I am going to be honest. Okay. And at times they tend to manipulate situations and act kind of irrational. Now I want to say this. Okay. We have the moon here with the ace of wands that your person has a lot of moon energy. Okay. And when you have a lot of moon energy, that's, a lot that we don't know, right? They're coming up as a Pisces or a Cancer or a Scorpio. I mean, but this card for me is very Pisces-like, right? Emotions are hidden deep. And with this person, you have to be very careful with them. And I always say with a Pisces or because this is their energy, um, it's kind of like fishing. And I don't know if I said this in your last reading, but it's like you throw your pole in, right? You're not gonna, you're not gonna hit it immediately, right? But here's what's crazy. The fish eventually goes up to the bait, right? That's you hunting it, right? You're the fisher. And what happens is they're going to hit the line a couple of times, I feel like. But do not pull up yet. Don't go balls deep, okay? Just wait a second. You have to be very um, calculated and very focused right now when the right time is to hit. Because this person is very slippery, right? Because they're very um, moon-like, right? You you have to be careful with this. But here's what's interesting. Moon with the Ace of Wands, this person is going to want to offer a new start. That's what they've been hiding this entire time. Okay. Now we have Judgment here. And it's funny because Judgment is two. So two is associated with the moon. So there you go. Um... What Scorpio, how does Scorpio feel about this person romantically? How does Scorpio feel about this person romantically? Engagement ring. I feel like for you, once this person comes back, I think that you want to lock this shit down. Because for you, it's like either this relationship is going to evolve and go to the next phase where we can heal together or we don't have to do shit. You know what I mean? It's also too... There's going to be a harsh truth that comes in. I am going to say that, so don't say I didn't say it. There is some harsh truth that comes in, but your person is very lucky that they're dealing with you because you guys take that harsh, that harsh truth, right? And you evolve it, right? You transform it. You guys are Scorpio for a reason, okay? There is a transformation here and a different outlook on love. And I feel like your entire life is going to be changing very quickly because this person is going to give you or tell you exactly what you need, what's been holding you back from you moving on. Okay. And we have judgment, which is reconciliation, or this is somebody standing up and saying something that you've been waiting for, for a period of time. Can you give me more information here? You see, there's a lot of communication. It's it's information on why you guys haven't had any forward movement. Sagittarius, it can be with a Sagittarius, Gemini, uh, Aries, or uh, Leo. That was the cause of this. Why is this Knight of Wands reversed? Because of the Page of Pentacles. I also feel like with this person, you understand, like I said earlier, you have to take it very very, very slow. Okay. Also understand too, though, with them, I am going to say this, 
there are things that they're not going to tell you or there are things that they are going to keep hidden and just keep that understand that that's still there right they're still very protective you feel like they're still very protected or protective over what they weren't saying or what they were hiding or why they were very quiet so they may tell you a little bit but it's not a lot here's virgo as well yeah with the eight of pentacles that's mercury do you see what i'm saying for you this month it's a, it's a lot of um first of all uh mercurial energy right um which is five and this is communication a lot of communication is coming in here here's what i really like though one we have verbal communication with the six of swords okay we then have communication over here, right? Taking a level of action. And now we have the Eight of Pentacles. That's Virgo. Um, and or this isn't Mercury and Virgo, I'm sorry. But, but Virgo is Mercury, right? But now we have the Eight of Pentacles. So we're now putting it to use. You see, we're not physically working on things together, but it's at a much slower pace. And I feel like you're going with this person's flow. You have to go with the flow. Like I said, this is a slow moving process. The conversation may start at the end of um, May, but then I think things develop quickly, like during the next coming months. Okay. And for you, you're ready to work on things with this person. You're ready really to physically get in, either say, marry me or not. I'm, I'm good. Like, what are we doing here? Like, there is a commitment. There is a commitment that is evolving between you and this person, again, which is a very stable. It's more stable than it was in the past. Okay. For your overall energy, we have uh, strength with the Six of Cups. Beautiful. And I am going to say this. You are having to really restrain yourself, right? Right. There's a level of restraint here on your end when it's coming to reconnecting with this person from the past. One card here for the overall situation between these two romantically. There's an ending and a new beginning. And I feel like right now there's a level of heartbreak that you're trying to be strong about because this person ran away. And I'm saying that because a runner just came in. You feel like right now in the situation that... They got what they needed from you and then they left. And now you're like, well, what the fuck? Hold on though. What's the overall situation from now until May 31st for Scorpio and this person of interest? Ascending. So currently, I'm going to say this. Currently, I feel like you're in a heartbreak stage because that came up. You may feel like you're one of many to this person, like this person has a lot of options. However, I just think you keep looking at their pictures and you're missing them. And there is a level of like nostalgia here about the memories that you've made. But, but here's the positive thing. Your relationship right now, whatever obstacles there were, it's transcending, okay? It's really learning about what went wrong and then expanding on it right and it's creating this new phase but also preparing for a level of union okay now like i said i don't think you physically see this person during this time period but i feel like there is a level of communication here on what happened what went wrong feelings are shared emotions are expressed and now it's like, okay, now where do we go from here, right? Now is now is the place where we're asking, now where do we go? What do you want me to tell them about their current situation from now until the end of May? There's going to be forward movement. There's cancer energy. There's going to be forward movement, which is, I feel like, going to cut out this overthinking Okay, nine of swords, there's that uh, Gemini energy. And I feel like what you're moving forward from is just this awake up all, you know, awake all night, stressed out, very dark, cold, you know, worried about this ending that's coming. But here's, here's the thing. 
there's a lot of love here. And it's almost saying you get what you want here by almost ignoring what you want. I don't know if that makes any sense. Give me more information, please. The magician. Because what they're telling you, Gemini, Scorpio, Virgo, Aries, what they're telling you is you've already manifested this. This nine of swords, you've already put the man you've already put the work into manifesting this person to come back. And guess what? The lovers with the six of wands, you're gonna be very successful. Ace of Cups, four of wands. It's just right now. You don't know what's going on, which is putting you in this, this very emotional state, right? It's putting you in a state where you don't know. I am going to say this. With the Four of Cups, Ace of Cups, Six of Wands, and the Lovers, with the Magician, this is beautiful. Like, something very beautiful is coming from this. So, with that being said, I'm going to leave this here, and we're going to continue on in the Vimeo. Because there is, a, there is forgiving and learning. So like I said, there's something here where you guys are going to accept whatever they say to you probably. Or they're going to accept whatever you say to them. And I love you guys. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.